This is what nine o'clock in the morning looks like. So it's a whole culture, a day culture. I actually like the day culture. You know, people go to bed early around here, like 9.30, and then they're up like five in the morning. You wouldn't believe how crowded the beach is in the morning. But I got to check out. I got there earlier and I forgot to turn the camera on, except for when I was shooting the contest have to um, go to work for an hour and then I'll come back to the competition. Uh, for me the highlight is just seeing the uh, energy, the camaraderie in this event. It's uh, different than other events. There's way more surf culture involved in this contest. So that's the highlight for me for this event. Uh, aside from seeing great surfing, great talent. Yeah. That's why I'm here yeah. too because yeah. as a longboarder, you know I'm picking up tips. Yeah, well. Just, you know, and I love the different styles of pop-ups, the different ways they nose ride, the style. That's good that you do that, Mimi, that you come to this type of event and you observe and you can learn a lot uh, about work design, about uh, proper techniques and so on. So yeah, good for you that you're doing that. What is, what is the popularity of longboarding now that we've never seen before? Although I've only been in a surf culture five years, but I know longboarding is now the thing again. Yeah, well, it's a phenomenon that started maybe in the early 2000s where uh, the demographics all of a sudden changed. Uh, before, let's say in the early 90s, there were very few longboarders, no kids longboarding. Um, nowadays, we have a spectrum of ages, sexes, uh, all enjoying the discipline of longboard surfing. So you see the kids from five years old to the old grandpa and grandma, 80s, you know. So yeah, it's a very diverse spectrum of, of longboarding. Yeah. In Puerto Rico, there are not many kids of his age that do true longboarding and he's one of our two longboarders at 15 years old and he's here to oh, that's share amazing. waves and learn a little bit more of the Californian surf culture. So, yeah. I'm excited. What's your name again? Saeed. Saeed. Yeah. Why I park so, well I know why I park so far away because I'm extra thick and um, I know I mean, I mean I, I knew I was thick but extra thick I had to keep that under control so literally a mile away, two miles I'm sure, I'm absolutely positive. That is where the pier is. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where I am. I hope I remember where I parked. Because literally I've walked a mile now. <laughs> I can't even talk right now. I'm just going to keep on walking. 
I don't like traditional workouts, so I just do what I gotta do, park further. It feels better when I'm doing it that way than actually trying to decide I'm gonna work out. I'd rather just make it a part of my lifestyle to just do it like that. But um, I'll definitely be coming back to check out the competition. And um, luckily, where I have to do, her hair is right in the area in Manhattan Beach. So I'm in Hermosa. It's literally probably maybe, whew, maybe like um, a mile away. Not too far. Like, so all my stuff is in the car. And um, I have wipes to clean off a little bit. And then I'm gonna go back to the beach. But I'm walking up a hill now from the beach. You know you have to be in, if you're not, you have to be in really physical shape to live in California or it's gonna get you there real quick. Cause you're always gonna be walking up and down hills. I'm glad I didn't eat this morning. I just had that kombucha drink and a banana. Cause I would be really tired by now, but you know, I'll eat later. Gotta get this weight off, at least drop 10 more pounds, you know? Okay, I'm, I'm done with talking, I'm tired. Man, that was a heck of a walk. Woo. Made it to my car. Says I'm nine minutes away, so let me, I'll be three minutes early. All right. <laughs> competition was good I got tired I was supposed to stay for the finale but when my parking was over I just wanted to go home because I only had eaten a donut so <laughs> came to fix me a salad kale fennel sun-dried tomatoes and vegan turmeric dressing so good but i shouldn't have did that now i'm sleepy i need to take a nap and i'll probably um drive to ventura tomorrow i'm not sure if i'm gonna drive to ventura or another point break but i probably drive to ventura tomorrow to surf i am craving a long wave again and here in the south bay the waves are just short and as a longboarder, you know, I just, I have a need to just <laughs> ride a long wave. So. Yeah. So this is what I bought at the store. Some kale, organic sprouted rice, some sunflower seeds. I just ate that salad. Like I did not have any energy at all. This is some almond butter turmeric um, dressing, and yes, it is vegan. I am plant-based SF. 
um, some sun-dried um, tomato and garlic um, dressing as well. Here's some fennel, uh, some Trader Joe's coconut oil, sun-dried tomatoes, love this. And a couple of bowls, you know, um, just some, some quick bowls that I can heat up really quick, um, vegan bowls that I'm just trying out to see they were on sale. So I just said, let me get two of them, you know, so I don't have to cook. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm eating. Well, that's one thing about the, the um, surf community. We start early so we can be in the house early and handle other business. Um, and that's how it is in entrepreneurship too, you know? start your day early you know I might take a nap and um, just start editing some of these videos too but oh my god I'm so tired today I shouldn't have ate that junk I cannot eat junk food like donuts no and literally it just zapped all of my energy so now I'm just you know getting myself back together <laughs> After all that exercise I did today, after all that walking, yeah, I'm going to lose weight one day. <laughs>